What up, a Aaron? What up, brother? What up, y'all? What's going on? What's going on? We're gonna do a little thrift haul recap. Chris, what up, brother? Let's have some fun today, guys. If you guys are new here, my name is Jimmy, aka The Big Apple Picker. I'm a full-time reseller. Buy things from yard sales, garage sales, estate sales, flea markets, thrift stores, junk removal places, storage unit auctions, wherever I can get it. I buy it for low prices, and I resell them on platforms like uh, eBay, Macari, Depop, Poshmark, sometimes whatnot, all over the place um, for a profit. So we're going to be doing a little thrift haul recap of everything that I got today. Let's do this. We did 38 total items today for a grand total of 200 and 200, whoop, $222.98. Somebody could divide that for me and give me an average cost per item, please. That would be fantastic. Again, there's $222.98. Divided by 38 items. I want to say it's like 586, 587, somewhere in that ballpark, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm not a human calculator. So if someone could tell me what my average cost of goods was, that would be lovely. I'm going to get an extra empty bin. So we can start throwing stuff into there. All right, what do we got? Did you say 288, 222, $222 dollars and 98 cents. I got six, six dollars and 33. That seems a little high, but I'll take it. I'll take it, six dollars and 33 cents per item, 637, gotcha. All right, 38 items all in for 222 dollars. 98 cents. So let's start breaking it down. Best way we know how. Best way we know how. And that is including uh, New York State's ridiculous sales tax as well. 38 items is five. Okay, cool. So we're at 586. Okay, cool. Oh, 580. Perfect. All right, so we're in the bill park. Let's round it up to about $6 an item. Let's see what we have to play today. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Let me move all these. These are a bunch of jeans. Gonna go through there. Let me do this quick. Hold on a second. Ah, uh, boom. How's everybody doing today? Y'all doing all right? Appreciate y'all being here. I'm trying to find... Okay. Okay, so you're thinking about starting this kind of adventure, what shipping method do you use for clothes? Okay, uh, yeah, let's do that quick. So, I have all my shipping supplies here, so this is pretty easy. Okay, and Casey, appreciate the follow. Thank you very much. So, Pretty simple the way that I ship. So something like this is a, this is a pair of Levi's probably, if I had to guess. Nope, this is a pair of Vineyard Vines jeans. So this is a pair of Vineyard Vines jeans. 
So when I picture these, I'll do my measurements and all that stuff. And then they'll just get folded up quick. They all get put into bags. So I have these uh, larger plastic bags. These I use for my jeans, hoodies, stuff like that, etc. Uh, anything, any larger clothing item will go into these bigger poly bags. I think these are 11 by 13. I should have that linked in my bio as well, too. Um, and then they'll go into a larger poly bag. This one right here. This might be a 12 by 14 or 13 by 15. I'm not 100% sure. But I'll just ship them in these poly bags. Usually your cheapest rate is going to be through USPS. Um, ground Advantage. Sometimes it will actually be cheaper to ship them in these. This is a large padded flat rate envelope. So these, I should believe, ship for $8.35 to anywhere in the United States. So, and jeans fit perfectly in these. Uh, a lot of times you can get hoodies and sweaters in here too, and it'll give you a cheaper shipping rate. Um, but yeah, so small way that I do my system is you see all these bins behind me, they're all labeled separately. So I'll picture this, list this, it'll get put into a bin, and then it'll get customized skewed on eBay to bin, let's say M7, and then when it sells, it'll tell me in the sale, customized M7. I also pack all my orders on live every morning, Monday through Friday, between 11 and 12.30, somewhere in that ballpark. So if you want to check those out, that'll be a lot more help with shipping. I post daily videos of like what I pick up from thrift stores and yard sales, but I do the back end as well of where I pack all my orders. I say what I paid for it, what I bought, for, what it sold for, etc. Pink Hearts, you in here today? You're very welcome. I know I saw you join. I know I saw you join, Pink Hearts, but I don't know if you're at work or on your way home, so I don't want to bother you too much if you're busy. Alright, so let's get down to business. Put these over here. And feel free, anybody in the chat, feel free to ask questions throughout the live, and I'll be more than happy to answer them to the best of my ability so we have a bunch of stuff today that this is i want to say i don't have any home runs today i don't have anything that's going to sell for a substantial amount of money i don't have anything that's going to cream it but what we call these in reselling is bread and butter items so these are the items that pay your bills. These are your twenty to thirty-five dollar items that you could pick up for cheap enough. Like I said, our average cost of goods today was five dollars and eighty-six cents. I believe we had it at. So at five dollars and eighty-six cents, um, turning it into twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five over the course of time it leads to what I do full time. This is what I do every day. So yeah. That's about it. So a lot of bread and butter, a lot of a lot of bread and butter, a lot of bread and butter items today. Desty's in the chat. So Desty is one of the um, awesome resellers in the community, and she is bread and butter. Desty is what I call a bread and butter sandwich. She's made of bread, and she likes butter. Thrifty Mama Bath was good. All right, Dusty, you're here. Are you busy, Dusty? Because I'm going to need your help today. <laughs> potato bread. Potato bread is delicious, though. Potato bread is delicious. We got our orange monster. We're ready to go. I'm on the toilet. Okay, cool. So you're perfectly available for assisting in the live. Some of these items I picked up just off the pure strength of the brand. Um, I don't exactly check comps. I don't really check many comps when I'm at the thrift store anymore, unless it's overpriced to the point of where I'm like, okay, I gotta check this now. Carol Ann, what's good? What's good? Okay, let's get started. Again, we have $222.98 into everything today uh, for 38 total items. Average cost of goods was $5.86. Let's get started. First things up is we have a... And I'm going to be taking these stupid little tags off as we go to as well. So this actually cost $5.50, but we're going by average cost today just to make it easier. We have a pair of size 38, 36, size 36 uh, men's vineyard vines jeans. Freaking big. Men's vineyard, vineyard 
Ooh, love a thrift haul. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome in, Kayla. David told me to tell you congratulations. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it, Caroline. Thank you so much. So I'm going to take all these stupid staples off. Uh, I don't know what Vineyard Vines jeans go for, to be totally honest with you. I had the anticipated at these are going to be 15 to 20 bucks. So I'm not 100% sure. I don't know the sell-through rate, but I picked it up on the, the strength of the brand. So, Testy, I know you're in the house. If you could tell me anything about Vineyard Vines jeans, that'd be great, because this is the first pair of Vineyard Vines jeans I've ever picked up. So we got those. This is a brand that I always, I've never seen, me either. That's why I was like, what the hell? So I picked it up off the uh, off just being Vineyard Vines and being a size 36. So good size, Vineyard Vines and denim jeans. So I was like, all right, yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> but I figured I'd get at least 15 to 20 for them. So we'll see. Only time will tell, right? Brittany, what's up? What's up? Finally, finally, the real hack is in the house. These are a pair of size 29. These are women's Levi's 505s. Le Levi's 505s are stupid easy to sell. Um, what the hell did I pay for these? Well, 586. So these cost three dollars and fifty cents. Again, this is why I picked these up. Real hack. I heard that. <laughs> She's an original hack, Dusty. She's an original. Uh, Levi's 505s. Again, these are an easy fifteen to twenty bucks all day long. I sell these all the time. So, pretty easy. Tommy, appreciate the file. Thank you very much. Welcome to the family. I picked these up because I don't typically pick this brand up, uh, especially in such a small size. But I picked these up just because they were new at Tag. These are new at Tag Page Jeans. Kelly, appreciate the follow. Thank you very much. Welcome in. Welcome to the family. Lorenzo, what's going on? I have no ideas what the I have no idea what these are gonna go for. Uh, new at Tag Page Jeans, but again. Average cost of goods. Mama bet. Appreciate that follow. Thank you very much. Welcome in. Welcome to the family. New attack page. California girl. Appreciate the follow. Thank you very much. I'm only married in. Oh, you're married in. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I thought Dusty was was married into the hack. So new attack page uh, for five bucks for five dollars and eighty six cents. I'll take that all day. So strength of the brand. Even though it's a small size, I'm still picking. I appreciate all the new followers. You guys are coming in hot right now. I appreciate it. Much love. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, next. Another pair of Levi's. This is a great size. Mama, what up? What's going on? Mellow State, what up, what up? Okay. Again, these ones were a little bit uh, less. So, again, these are the things that lower your buy cost. But these ones were 4 bucks. So average cost of goods though was five eighty six. So that's what we're going with on this. These are a pair of Levi's demi curve boot cut. I always pick up boot cut jeans right now. Boot cut and those large flares are doing really well, and I'm selling these things like crazy right now. These Levi's boot cuts. So again, I should get at least twenty bucks for these. Oh, oh. Caroline, appreciate the hearts. Thank you very much. Brittany, appreciate the hearts. Thank you. Yo, Kelsey's in the building. Kelsey's in the building. Got a bunch of Levi's today. Another pair of Demi Curves. This one was $6.99, so it was $3.50. But we're doing average cost, which is $5.86. Lorenzo, appreciate the tiny diny, brother. Thank you very much. Much love, y'all. Y'all being awesome today. This is a size 14... Size 14 by 32. Again, these have that large, that large boot cut. So, at least 20 bucks. 1432s. Guarantee you within seven, within seven days, you guys will be seeing me pack these up early in the morning on live. KMD, appreciate the follow. Thank you very much. Welcome to the family. These ones, I typically don't pick these up, but these were super cheap. These were $3.50, $23 bill, exactly, exactly. Super, super cheap. These were $3.50. These are the Shaping Skinny. They're not the Super Skinny. I won't pick up Super Skinny unless I get them for like a buck at a yard sale, but these are Shaping Skinny, 311s. 
So these will be like 15. Easy 15 or for three bucks. So when I'm, mind you, let me let me explain this to you guys. When I'm whole, like when I'm at the thrift store and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna spend like 200 plus dollars today. I'm gonna fill my cart with as many $20 bills as I possibly can. So there's that, bang. Next one up. We got more Levi's coming. This is just a classic straight, nice blue classic straight. And I put back, mind you, I put back 13 items today because of condition issues. So I would have spent some more. These are the classic straights, $5.86. And I'll get another 15 to 20. I like this color though. When we doing a whatnot? I'm doing a whatnot tomorrow for comic books actually. We definitely gotta get one going soon. All right, these are a size 33. Again, with the wide, the wide boot, wide boot cut. This is size 33, the classic boot cut, 415s. I believe the last one of these that I sold, I sold for $22. And these are priced at $6.99, so half off, $3.50. Turned it into 20 bucks, but average buy cost, we're going to say, cost $5.86. How many more times am I going to say $5.86 today? All right, what the hell are these? I picked these up again just because I've been selling corduroy a lot. These are Vineyard Vines. Vineyard Vines blue. That, like, uh, almost a royal blue, really. Dark royal blue. Uh, corduroy pants. And I should get at least twenty bucks for these. I got, I just got some. I just got, uh, just sold a pair of Todd Snyder corduroy pants a couple days ago for forty bucks. So, anticipating at least twenty bucks for these. Drinking game. There you go. Let's go. Every time he says five dollars and eighty six cents, like these cost me. Slap a drink on your lips. And I think that might be it for jeans and pants. We'll see. Jay Walker Flips, appreciate that follow. Thank you very much, brother. Welcome in. Welcome to the family. Hope you're doing well today. The bread and butter. Bread and butter makes a sandwich. Think about it this way. You can't have a sandwich without bread. You can't have popcorn without butter. So, you gotta make the itty bitty baby sales. This is a nice piece. This is a nice piece. This is a men's large. Nice navy, dark blue, North Face, full zip. That back hit, little North Face logo on the back there. Perfect time of year to pick this up. I don't even know what I don't even know what this will sell for. Most likely at minimum twenty five bucks. Ricola. I wish I had some recola right now. That voice box, my voice is shooting. Should be at least 25 bucks for that, probably a little bit more. Maybe we'll get push it to 30. Nice. Okay, so this one. What up, Dusty? This one is actually featured in my video that I'll be posting tonight. I only chose like four items for videos today. I was moving and grooving at the thrift. This is a Peter Millar. Peter Millar, this is a quarter zip. I picked this up because it is 100% wool. 100% merino wool. Uh, I think I comped this out at... 30 to 35 bucks, I think it was. So, we'll do a little five. We'll do a little six X your money on that one. NYC flip. What up, brother? Again, perfect time of season for this to get picked up because people like me don't stop playing golf just because it's October. 
It's also 80 degrees here in New York today, so it doesn't really matter what month it is, but. So I picked this up. This is a Foot Joy polyester, nice little pullover, quarter zip sweater, tiny, tiny. Quarter zip pullover. This is, it has the, the Brookville patch on the sleeve there. And I think I comped this at 30 bucks. I think that's what I had this at. Foot Joy. And if you guys are just joining, the average buy cost for everything that I'm showing today is $5.86. Get them likes up, Dusty. Yes, Dusty, let's go. We're not even at a thousand likes yet. Damn. This was a nice one. Bro, Apple Picker, what up? Chris at Peak is a freak on the beat. That's why the whole crowd listens when that dude speaks. Oh, I wrote Chris. I wrote you a jingle. Ah, oh, for the commercial I'm doing. Thanks for the glizzy. Oh, what was it? What was it? It was, uh, when life has you down and has you feeling bleak, just fill your cup up with Chris at peak. Mmm. It's calm. Next one I picked up was a Peter Millar. This is a Crown Soft. I picked this up. It is a wool and silk blend. 85% wool, 15% silk. I think that this comped out at, like, 25 to 30 bucks. So I picked that up. You are a true musician and a true gentleman. <laughs> Thank you. I try to be both. Uh, I picked that up. It's a great time of season again. Golf is getting colder. People ain't going to stop playing. Trust me when I tell you. I used to work at a golf course. I used to play golf nearly every single shift. So it's always funsies. Carol Ann, what up? What up? What up? Carol Ann coming in with some clapping and some auditioning thing. This is a Tree XL. A Tree XL, y'all. So I picked this up. This is Hook, as I used to call it, Huck. A Hook fishing gear shirt. Has a really nice pattern to it, the nice camo look. This is a 3XL on the performance fabric Hook, and it's a 3XL. That's why I picked this up. This brand is coming down in value, but I think because it's a 3XL, I should be able to still I should be able to still grip 20, 22 bucks out of it. I just ordered 10 bags of Chris at Pete coffee after watching your commercial. There we go. Let's go. There we go. When I make the commercial, I'm going to do the whole thing. I'm going to have my head like laying down like, does life have you down? And then I'm going to like lay over a chair and be like, does it have you feeling bleak? Grab yourself a cup of Chris at Pete coffee. Drink it down and get the energy you need to make it through the day. And then the song will come on and I'll, I'll do like a little sip. And I'll be like, I feel much better now. And then I'll go, when life has you down and has you feeling bleak, just fill your cup up with Chris at peak. Mm. And then it'll be like just a video of the bag. And it'll say, Big Apple Picker is not a paid spokesperson of Chris at Peak Coffee. And Chris at Peak Coffee is roasted fresh every single Thursday by Dynamite Roasting Company in Asheville, North Carolina. Instant classic. There we go. So here we go. As soon as I have my voice back, I plan on doing that. <laughs> I have a couple commercials I have to make this week. Amazing. So we have these are uh, Judy Blue jeans. These are new at tag. That's not the Judy Blue tag, though. I mean, the tag from Judy Blue is tag, but this is from a different store. What a scissor. Whoop, 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 whoop. Thumper's foot. What's happening? Don't forget all about our movie. Oh, that movie. That's reserved for a different website, my friend. That's reserved for the orange and black website. These are Judy Blue. This is a 16W jeans. These are uh, skinny fit capri mid-rise. They're new at tags. Again, for the average buy cost of $586. I picked these up. I don't know what I'll get for these. I'm assuming at least 35 bucks. That's my idea for that. So this was a nice pickup. New with tag, Judy Blue. Been selling Judy Blue like crazy. 45 bucks, even better. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. All right, now we got some loudness coming in. That's some loudness coming in. 45 bucks, we set the bar high. We set the bar high. Come on. 
Stupid staples, man. Ay, 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 ay. When life has you down and has you feeling bleak, just fill your cup up with Chris at peak. Set the bar. I gotta buy a staple remover. Simple as that. I can't do this anymore. Alright, there we go. Oop. Small piece of a staple left in there. Hold on. I gotta get surgical on this. A soft pretzel dipped in cheese sounds so dirty. So dirty. Okay, here we go. This is a super cool, super nice. Look at this. Tiny Bahama size, extra large, extra grande. Where are you going, Brittany? Sit down, boy. 100% silk. Look at that. Really nice pattern, 100% silk. Got, I don't even know what that is. What is that, like palm leaves? What do you think? What is that? Palm leaves? I don't know, some kind of a tree. But, yeah. So, 100% silk, Tommy Bahama, five bucks, $5.86. Bamboo, there we go, bamboo. Nice bamboo-ish pattern. Any panda bear would love to have that. Guts, you have it, guts. Appreciate that, Tanya, thank you. All right, next up, we got a Travis Matthew with one T. I didn't learn that until I was checking comps one day for something that was, like, not a polo. And I was like, why can't this thing come up? This is a size large Travis Matthew golf polo. How many monsters have we had today? I've had, uh, this is my second one of the day, so not that too, not too bad today. I had a bottle of water today, too. Travis Matthew, size large, just a gray plant, uh, gray thing. Gray shirt, whatever the hell you want to call it. 15 to 17 bucks. Maybe one day we'll make some money and we can ride around the world like three or four times, my love. One of these days, some milk and honey. Travi Natty. Oh, I did not do that today. I'm looking at my list of things to do, and I'm like, oh, shit, I forgot that. And we have another Travis Matthew, another size large. Another size large, again, 15 to 17 bucks, nothing crazy. Here. What would you say your best-selling item is? Uh, my best-selling category this year is comic books. Um, best-selling item? In terms of value or, like, in terms of how many I've sold? One of these days, milk and honey. Like clothing items you pick up and they always sell. Oh, uh, shit. Holderness and Born golf polos, I can't keep in stock. Grayson golf polos, can't keep them in stock. As soon as I get them, they're gone. Uh, big flyer jeans I sell. I can't, I can't keep those in stock. I, I get them and they're gone. I sell a ton of Levi's, not always the fastest, but they have, uh, I sell them with a great conversion rate. Just depends on which ones you pick up, really. Everything he's showing will be gone in 20 days or less. That, pretty much, yeah. Pretty much all this stuff that I got today, all these brands that you're going to see are all my fast-moving brands, because I didn't pick up any big hitters. These are just my easy 20 to 25ers, but fantastic conversion rates. This is an RLX right here. Perfect example. RLX, I don't keep in stock. Like, it's it's literally pictured, listed, and sold in several days. RLX Golf Polo, and this is a size XL too. So this you'll probably see in the next seven days on one of my packing lives. This will sell for easy 20 bucks. I'm gonna price it for 20 bucks off the top of my head. It might even sell for 22, 23, but it won't sit around here long. Maybe one day, Dolores. Dolores, how'd you squeeze in an oh shit into the comments? I didn't even know that they would let that go through. Do, 
do, do, do, do, do, do, do, do, do, another one. Another one of these that I do really well with. This is, these are, if you can get them cheap enough, which I did, you know, like I said, at $5.86. These sell for easy 20 bucks. They sell fast as hell. This is a Polo Golf Ralph Lauren, size XL. I can't say anything, it's always plot. Polo Golf Ralph Lauren, size XL. Again, this is another one with that Brookville, that Brookville hit on the side. So, and that's not going to uh, diminish any of the value from it. But Polo Golf Ralph Lauren, size XL, easy $20 bill. And we're not really out of the golf season yet. Like I said, it's 80 degrees here in New York. So there's still a chance that that's going to sell before uh, the end of the month, for sure. And again, you guys got to remember, when you're selling on platforms like eBay, Poshmark, uh, it's always golfing season in Florida. It's always golfing season in California. It's always golfing season in a majority of this country. It's just not golfing season in New York and Michigan. It still is here, though, because it's still 80 degrees out. Another one, hate the color, but it's still going to sell for 20 bucks. Polo Golf Ralph Lauren, size extra large, extra grande. Nothing special. Literally just brown on brown. An old-fashioned golfing, golfing shirt. Next up is one of these Johnny O West Coast Prep shirts. Do you just grab everything that is from Polo? No, no. Um, for me, Polo, size matters. I won't pick up. It's really tough. I only pick up a few things in size large. I look for specific patterns. I look for... Polo Golf. I look for RLX. Um, nice plaid patterns. Size matters. Uh, absolutely. With I like to be XL and above. If you get into like two XL, two XLB, two L, like two XLT, three XL, four XL. I think I have a four XB in here somewhere as well. Um, those sizes are much better. You want to get the bigger, the bigger, the better. That's what she said. But uh, yeah, I don't just pick up anything from Polo. I pick up a, I try to pick up a lot of polo because it sells really quick for like 15 to 20. Not a lot of money, but you can get it real cheap. I pick up a lot of them at like yard sales uh, and from the junk removal place. When I get them from the junk removal place, it's pretty much all profit. I get it for like 5 cents to 10 cents each. So I don't pick up much of it from the thrift stores unless it's priced at like under 5 bucks just because I get it cheaper from other uh, sources. This is a Johnny O West Coast Prep. This is 15 to $20. This is a size... 2XL, so probably closer to that two to that twenty dollar area. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Little Johnny O, nothing special, and it's got some kind of a monogram on the side here. Appreciate the follow, two chill dudes and Mike. Appreciate y'all. So I don't know what that monogram is, but it's not gonna break the shirt. It definitely won't make the shirt because I've never seen it before, but. Uh, missed a comment here. Gotcha. I'm trying to figure out what to buy because I'm mainly vintage, but I'm moving into newer stuff. I hear you, Cody. I hear you. I used to do a lot of vintage too, so I definitely understand where you're coming from. Uh, I make I make a bunch of content. Um, every I make content every day on here, IG, FB, YT, about stuff that I pick up from thrift stores, yard sales. I don't just sell um, clothing either. I sell video games, comic books, action figures, statues, golf clubs, shoes, everything, hats. So there's going to be a different array if you're trying to expand for sure. And I go live every morning to show what I'm what I'm actually set what I'm actually sending out that day so you can see exact sold comps as well. And uh, I try to also say like what my buy point was cuz I don't like to really um spend a lot of money. <laughs> Yeah, man, I just started doing this too. Same for you, Mike. Same for you, brother. Welcome to the family. Appreciate you guys being here. Thank you guys so much. It's going to be the journey of a lifetime. You're going to love it. I've been in here almost three years now. Almost three years as a, as a reseller. I'm about 16 or 17 months as a full-time reseller. My fiance is also a full-time reseller, so we both do this together. Um... Which a lot of people always say, like, oh, it, you know, it helps so much when you have another person helping you. Well, it does, yes, but you also have to, like, double your income when you're doing that. So it, it helps 1,000% to have two people doing it. But remember, you got to take in double the amount of inventory. You got to take in double the amount of sales. So 
it, it's a lot of pressure when you got two people doing it. You know, there's a, there's several people on here who are full-time reselling couples and I'll guarantee you they sell you the same thing. Yes, we're lucky that we get to do this together, but we gotta do a lot of work because we have to double our income. This is a Johnny XL Polo. I picked this up. This is a 2XL. So I'm assuming this is about $25 bill. 92 polyester, 8% spandex. So it's a nice breathable, breathable material for golfing. 2XL with a really nice pattern to it as well. So this will probably sell decently quick. And definitely follow. There's a bunch of great resellers in here as well right now. So Desti is one you're going to want to follow. She's she's awesome, awesome, awesome people. And if any of my other resellers, I don't know who else is here. I pulled 100% silk Tommy button up today price point. Uh, what size? What size? And it really depends on the pattern. The better the patterns can go for more money. Um, I typically, me personally, I sell them for about twenty-five to thirty dollars, depending on, depending on the, uh, the graphics, of course. But one hundred percent silk is always a good selling point. What up, thrifty duckies? What's going on, Dusty? You're gonna have to help me on these because I don't even know what the hell these are. I got like these shorts. I don't know what the hell they are. I picked them up because they were Johnny O, but they're like weird. Cream colored, solid color, large or extra large. So yeah, so there's gonna be more towards like the twenty dollar. If it's a solid color, you know, I would put it more towards like the twenty to twenty five just to move it quickly. The loud patterns. Um, the loud patterns, like these ones, are the ones that the ones that do better because they have like all that interestingness to it. I think that might be what it is. I think that might be what it is. I think it's rain gear. But they're shorts, Desty. They're shorts, though. And they're not like they're not like zip-offs, you know what I mean? Like, I was looking for that. They're not like, uh, like there was a piece missing to them. But I guess they're rain gear shorts? They feel, that's what they feel like, you know? They're Johnny O. They're polyester, so I'm assuming that they are rain gear. Picked up Columbia Pants Strange. Super sold. S sold super quick. What, rain pants? Do you sell to golfers? Appreciate the help. I'll make sure to check out the content. Appreciate you being here, man. Thank you very much. And yeah, dude, if you ever have any questions, um, I tell this to everybody. My 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 DMs on here, um, they are open. It'll go into like a request or whatever. But if you follow me over on IG, my DMs are always open. If you have any questions at all, always feel free to reach out. I'm always willing to help. Hiking or golf shorts. I don't know if they, it's definitely something for that. So I don't know what these go for, but I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna I'm gonna check these out as Johnny O rain rain shorts, because they're definitely not like golfing shorts. These are more for like water, like leather pants, but rain outdoor gear. There you go. Leather like pants. Somebody check a comp for me. Somebody check a comp for me on those Johnny O shorts. Picked these up because they were literally two dollars and fifty cents. Do you know any good side hustles? I do, I do buried, but I think you have, I think you have all of the side hustles in the world happening at one time. You're reselling, you're selling panda bottles, you're making content. I think you have all of the world side hustles wrapped up into one right now. These are prana. These like the little hiking shorts. These are a size small. I try to avoid buying smalls, but um. Prana for two dollars and fifty cents. Uh, hiking, camping—these are the keywords you're gonna want to use to sell these kind of things, and they'll sell for twenty to twenty-five dollars. To be honest with you, they sell pretty easy as well. It's a good color too. New it takes forty, twenty-four to thirty bucks. Perfect, perfect. I love it. I'm getting a ton of FB followers right now. Mike, appreciate the follow. Thank you very much. Any tax advice? Uh, Barry, you're already an LLC, so you don't need any tax advice from me, brother. That's the only tax advice I ever give to anybody. Once you start hitting certain numbers, just to incorporate yourself and uh, stop paying that uh, reseller tax. The, uh, not reseller tax. The self-employment tax. Morgan, appreciate the follow. Thank you so much. Welcome to the family. Now, I got a bunch of these. 
Got a bunch of these today. I might lot these because sometimes it's just easier to lot stuff like this. Um, I don't know how much I would lot it for because I don't even know how many I have yet. But they're all like the same style, pattern-ish. I'm here for any tax advice so you can ask the expert directly. Exactly. Carol Ann, by the way, if you guys need assistance with taxes, Carol Ann is a CPA, licensed and insured. Make sure y'all following her. Big Apple is next, but MI Alexander, appreciate that follow. Welcome in. Much love. Appreciate you joining. Do you sell fun guns? I got a bag of zeros. Wait, what the hell is it? I got a bag of zero. I got a bunch of zeros, like a bag of new Funyuns. Lil Wayne dropping bars. Ralph Lauren size. Large. Again, these are very simple, so I'm probably just going to lot these up because they're just like plain plaid. Um, but these will sell for 15 to 17 if I sell these individually, and they'll sell fast. Was that pretzel peanut butter any good? Dude. I've never had bad pretzel peanut butter. So that shit was delicious. Uh, Johnny O. Mulligan Prep Performance. Prep Performance shorts, golf casual, all sold, used, or sold on bids. Johnny O. Mulligan Prep Performance shorts, golf casual, all sold, used, or sold on bids. What'd they sell for? What'd they sell for, Jen? That's what I'm trying to figure out. And they all sold on bid, which is a good sign. Good sign that I can double the price of whatever they sold for. There's another Ralph Lauren size large. Again, I try to typically only pick these up in like XL, but there was a bunch of them, so I was able to just pick them up for real cheap. And I'll sell these for five. I mean, I'll sell these for 15 to 17 bucks unless I do, unless I lot these up and then. We'll see how many I have, and we'll go based off that. $28 plus shipping in the same color. Perfect. That's what I'm talking about. $586 turned into $25 to $30. I'll take it. Got a bunch of zeros like a bag of food. But what is it? Got a bunch of zeros like a bag of new Funyuns. 28 Check yourself, mister. Uh-oh. What I miss? What I miss? What I miss? Why are we checking them? Why are we checking Mr. Thriftastic? What do you do? What'd you do, Mr. Driftastic? Why well, you gotta check yourself now? What'd you do? Another Polo Ralph Lauren, size large. Size large. Grande. Nice pattern to it. Very simple. 15 to 17 bucks. Do you use eBay to price check? Yes. 99% of the time, 99% of the time, Mike, I will use eBay to do all of my sold comps. There's some... Um, exceptions to that rule but majority of the time i check everything on ebay first nothing i'm just waiting i'm just wanting a bag of onions me too me too you know what you know what thriftastic you've inspired me you've inspired me let's take a break let's take a break list thing number seven to do after I get off this live. Pick up Funyuns. Let's go. You the man. I appreciate it. Now I got my, my Tuesday night snack. For when I watch old episodes of the Royal Rumble. <laughs> <laughs> got a bunch of zeros like a bag of new Funyuns. Desty, you're going to like this next piece, Desty. You're going to like this, Desty. Because it's got a double breast. Got a bunch of zeros like a bag of new Funyuns. This is stuck. You won't be disappointed. I know I won't. I know I won't. I've never been disappointed by Funyuns. Oh my gosh, you have no idea what you just walked into. Uh-oh. <laughs> I love things I don't have. <laughs> ah, shit. That's messed up, Dusty. Don't insult yourself, Dusty. Come on. It's too early in the morning for that stuff. Too early in the morning. And it's organic, Dusty. This next piece I have is organic. Whatever that's supposed to mean, to be totally honest with you. I, don't, I still don't understand it. There we go. 
Let us see your whiteboard for two seconds. Yep. So, if you guys can see it, let me see. actually, can I f mirror this? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Ooh, there we go. Video mirroring is off. Okay, there you go. So, yeah, morning stuff, pack orders, prep, whatnot, show, garbage. That means I gotta take the garbage out. Photos, put away new inventory, and pick up Funyuns. Don't. Uh oh. What'd I do? <laughs> Got it. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> I don't know what I did. All right, Testy, here's the piece you're like. This is a Patagonia. Patagucci. Patagonia. This is organic cotton. This is a size men's large. And it's got the double, the double breast pockets. So, really nice piece. I should get at least 25. I don't even know. I don't even know what I'll get for this, but I'm thinking at least 25, double breast pocket, maybe more. You never know. Uh-oh. I got the cloud stifle. What the hell is that? Cloud strife? I don't even know what that is. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. $28 bill. Let's go. Tiny dinies. Appreciate that, brother. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh-oh. What's happening here? I picked this up. This is a Crown Ease Peter Millar. Should get at least 20. Size. Extra, extra large. 2XL. 25 bucks. I turned that into a $25 bill. This is a 2XL. Nice little Peter Millar. Crown Ease. Got a bunch of zeros. Like a big new fun. All right. Pick this up because this one is like literally brand new. Like the collar is stiff. It's as stiff as me after watching. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Untuck it. Size large. Jessica, appreciate the file. Thank you very much. Welcome to the family. I hope you're doing well. This is an untuck it size large. The thing is stiff. Like it's it's brand new. I don't think this was ever worn. Size extra large. Peter Millar. I mean Peter Millar. What the hell is this thing? What is this thing? Button down. There we go. Uh, untuck it. Untuck it. Corn chips. Egg corn chips. Add corn chips to the list. Okay. Onions and corn chips. I'll be right back. <laughs> Oh, uh, y'all killing me. What up, Brian? What up, what up, what up? Bins on bins on bins. On top of even more bins. It's stiff. It is. It is. Listen, I can't control myself in public. It's, it's a horrible, horrible side effect to life. All right, then I picked up a few of these just because these are easy, easy 20s. Easy 20. $20. $20 bill. Put it in your pocket. Run down to the store. Get yourself a nice gumball, kid. Yes, I hosted that room as an expert. Glad you were there. I hosted that room as an expert. What room? Anna, appreciate the file. Thank you very much. Welcome in. I picked these up because these are seersucker. Seersucker. Polo Ralph Lauren, size large. Seersucker, nice pink. On eBay open. I wasn't there. Oh, oh, I didn't see that. Celeste said, I saw you on eBay. I was like, huh? <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, this is a seer hucker. Seer hucker. Oh, I can't even talk no more. Oh, I'm tired. Seer sucker. So this is easy. 18 to $20. What else we got? Seersucker. Seer sucker. Seer plucker and seer huckers. Seer suckered. Sucker and succotash. Next up, we have a size large. This is just a little 4th of July piece. A little 4th of July. This is Denim and Supply, Ralph Lauren. Denim and Supply, Ralph Lauren. That'll be a 15 to 20 year. 15 -er to 20 year. Another seer sucker. I did not notice this when I was at the store because I wasn't paying attention as per usual. This is a size large. 
So I was going to put a 20. I was going to put an 18 to 20 on it. But it is Seersucker. And something more important. Desti, can you guess it? What's more important? Why would I increase the price of this? You tell me, Desti. Why would I increase the price? Can anybody guess? Size, brother. No. No, it's just a size large. Love stains. <laughs> if it, that wouldn't increase the price things, that would mean that would, that's going into my personal collection. Bean dip. Appreciate it. Nope. No logos, y'all. No logos. This, I actually, I commonly do this at thrift stores. I don't notice things because they freaking hide things inside the shirts. Rebecca, ding, 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 ding. It is new at tags. New at tag. Little Ralph Lauren. Size large, sheer sucker, new to take. So we're gonna ask a smidgen bit more on that one. What up, Kenny Momo? Mm -hmm. Kenny Momo. <laughs> well, that was a letter. <laughs> All right, guys, I think I have my first mistake pickup of the day. You guys can tell me I have not checked comps. I've never sold this brand before. I haven't really heard of it much. I've heard people mention it, but like never at the time when I was like listening. That room looks hot. It is not. It's actually 64 degrees in here right now. 64. Perfect temperature. I love this temperature. In the summer and in the winter. JT, what up, you sexy son of a mother? Dusty. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Did I make a mistake? You guys tell me. I've heard of it. I don't know what it is. I figured it would be 20 bucks, but if it's not, so be it. Oh, then so be it. But if not, I'll wear it. Actually, I won't. I could never wear something like this. 100% silk. It is... What the hell is it? Oh, Nat Nast. Nat Nast. I've never, I've heard people talk like about it, but I've never heard them say if it was a good brand or not. I've just heard them mention the name. So I don't know if this is good or not. It's 100% silk. Nice pattern to it, but who knows? 20 bucks. I hope so. It's the first time I've ever picked one up, so. If it's bad, lesson learned. If it's good, lesson learned. But for $5.86, which is actually $4.39 less than a Starbucks coffee, I'll take the chance. <laughs> Dusty is gone. Dusty is gone. My comp, my comp queen is gone. Where did she go? Where did she go? My lover. Where did she go? 21 to 50. That is a wide variety. Dusty, did you see the Nat Nast that I showed? But I'll take the 20. 20 works for me. That's what I anticipated, so I'll be happy with that. Next up. This is plain. I will help show again. No, I was on a call. Dusty, we have things to do here. We have things to do. You can't be taking work calls right now. It's uh, a Nat Nast, 100% silk. Oh, it's a size uh, extra large Nat Nast. I picked it up because of the design, 100% silk. I don't know. We'll see. Good bed. Throw the baby out with that bath water because you're still alive. Oh, yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> All right, last thing I picked up today. Oh, was that the last thing I picked up today? Yeah, that was the last thing I picked up today. Um, oh, no, I also picked these up. Picked up these Toms, if anybody wants to comp these out. Um, these were on sale for five fifty, so I picked them up. These are Toms. I sold a bunch of Toms, but these are, like, cool. They have these dinosaurs on them. So I just picked these up. With, they were, like, super good condition, too. Like, the soles, like, yeah, they're a little dirty, but... Is perfect. Tom's dinosaurs. So, pick these up. 
That'll be a quick shot. What are you doing? I don't even know. It's a good question. Good question. I'm selling Beyblades, baby. How you doing today, Felix? Felix, I miss you, man. I haven't seen you in like three, four weeks. Felix forgot about little old big apple picker. Eddie Bauer, vintage yellow gold tag trench jacket. Look, there's no comps. What would you... Jeez, um, I don't know much about Eddie Bauer, to be totally honest with you. Um, have you tried checking comps through eBay Terra Peak to see if there's any comps? Because that'll give you two years. If not, do you have Worth Point? Because Worth Point will give you 10 years of history. And check um, other platforms as well like try uh depop like look for a sold listing on depop or on poshmark don't just check ebay like check comps on other platforms as well see if that pops up worth point ebay terra peak it's a t-e-r-a-p-e-a-k it gives you if you have an ebay store i believe you can check terra peak it gives you two years worth of uh worth of comps not just the 90 days that we normally see flipping nurse what up how you doing what's going on kim how's everything and Worth Point is a, a service that, that I forgot how much it is. I think it's like 27 bucks a month, but it really does come in handy when you're finding rare items because it gives you 10 years worth of eBay comps. You're very welcome, JP. Appreciate you. Just woke up. I hear you. We were working the nights last night. And this is the last item that I picked up today. Oh, did anybody check the comps on these uh, these dinosaurs? Or Desti, were you saying 20 bucks on the, the Toms or were you saying 20 bucks on the Nat Nast? Ralph Lauren, this is a 4XB, 20 or so on the tops. Perfect, perfect. Let me see what size these are. And they were size eight and a half too, so it's a good women's size. So those should sell pretty pretty weakly. Ralph Lauren, size 4XB, Nat Nast 25 to 30. Let's go, let's go. Roop the stud. Holy shit. Roop, where you been? I haven't seen you in so long, and I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I hope everything is well with you. I hope you're doing, I hope you're slanging and banging. Haven't seen you in a long time. Hope everything is good. Jason, what up, brother? Ralph Lauren, size 4XB. It's plain, it's Jane, but it's 25 bucks because it's a 4XB. This is the featherweight, featherweight twill. Featherweight twill. So I'll get 25 bucks for this just off the strength of this being a big boy size. Well, to be totally honest with you, I feel like I could fit this. <laughs> Hey, yo, watch your flow. It's time for the toothbrush, man. It's time for the toothbrush, man. What's going on? Jason Derulo is in the building. The toothbrush king. All right. eBay dentist. There you go. And these things are like in really great shape, too. That's why I picked them up, too. Because Tom's, you'll find a lot of times either in really good condition or in absolutely destroyed condition. So these will just get like a clean on the bottom, but the soles are perfect, ready to rock. <coughs> oh, yeah. Language lady, what up? Persnickety picks in the building. All right, let me see. Oh, is the gnat nest embroidered? It feels, it feels embroidered, I'll tell you that much. It's just stitching. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's weird. It's just stitching going throughout the shirt. Like, it's all stitches. I don't know if you would define that as embroidered, but it's, it's all stitching. Style code is still in it, too. So I'll check that out. That thing is $150 sold. What? You serious? That nest? Luxury originals? Y'all messing with me right now? Why y'all messing with me? Professional load remove. I have the same one pulled up. Jen, do me a favor. Can you just screenshot it and send it to my IG, please? That would be awesome.
as much as I as much as I want. Knock knock. Who's there? Don't mess with me. Oh oh oh, oh hold up. I didn't see that you were trying to come in. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We about to we about to find a banger on live right now. Hello, Jen. Hi. Hang on, just a second. Let me flip around. That's the same one. Look it. So let's go. That is the only one like that listed. That Fantastic. And there's Fantastic. like four pages that I went through looking for it. <laughs> Was that the same, that's same that's size? Look same at size this. and everything. It's beautiful. Vintage. Beautiful. Jen, you are the best. So I will send you this. Look same. at that. Yep. Same stitching and everything right there on the back. Yep. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jen. You are the you are the yep. bomb. Yeah. So I was like, wait, wait. I gotta know. <laughs> okay. So yeah, one hundred and fifty plus shipping. Plus shipping, even better. Yep. Yep. Awesome. So, Thank you so much. Yeah. No problem. All right. I'll hop off now. All right. Have a good one. Thanks. So, like I said, I kind of know what I'm doing in this business. <laughs> I never had any doubt. Just take that home with you. So, uh, we paid... Where's my receipt? Oh, crap. Carol Ann's about to yell at me. So, we just found out on live that this thing is going to basically cover the majority of this bill today. I paid $222.98 for everything that y'all seen today. And the last sold comp for this one, shout out Thrifty Duckies, 150 freaking bucks. And that's Nat Nasty. That's Nat Nasty. Jen gets the cookies today, 1,000%. Sugar cookies, peanut butter cookies, chocolate chip, chocolate chip with cookies, whatever you want. That's the big apple. <laughs> and that's what I, what I used to say. How about them apples? Score. Appreciate it, Anna. So that was huge. That's a, that's a nice uh, step in the right direction right there. So we're going to make majority of our money back off, off one item. I thought it was a good haul to begin with, and that just put the icing on the cake. That just put the icing on the cake there, young fellas. So that's awesome. And uh, this video, I'm going to download this tonight. I'm going to pop this up on over onto the YT uh, in case anybody wanted to see everything that we got. But that is awesome. I wouldn't yell. I just roll my eyes. <laughs> It's got to be some random special thing. Exactly. I'm impressed you made wise and thoughtful business decisions. I try to do that every single day. I try to do that every single day. I'm writing a book on business, and I plan on not getting to Chapter 11. And if you don't know what that means, Google Chapter 11. I only want to write a 10 chapter book. It's like in uh, most buildings. Most buildings in New York City, they skip floor number 13 um, on the elevators. Well, in the elevators, they skip floor number 13. So it'll be like floor 10, 11, 14. Uh, 10, 11, 12, 14. So that is the... Uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write a book. Chapter 9, 10, 12. Destiny, it's your time to shine. Why is it Destiny's time to shine? She has done half-ass work tonight. 
because she's at work. So we'll give her a little forgiveness. A little forgiveness. We'll think about it, though. I don't really know. But uh, I do appreciate all you guys hanging out with me this entire time. We've been on here for a while now. Uh, I'm going to go get to work. i got to finish a video to edit. Supreme Rips, appreciate that follow. Thank you very much. Welcome to the family. And a huge shout-out to all the new followers today. Um, you guys came in like drove, so I really do appreciate everybody joining in, hanging out, and uh, hitting that follow button. And then I'm going to give a shout-out to all the people that have always been here, uh, like Desti and uh, Jen. Jen for coming through with that clutch sold comp right there. That's going to put some icing on the cake today. Shout out to all the OG followers up in here. Much love to all y'all. Shout out to everybody in here. Everybody who came in at all today. I appreciate all of y'all for hanging out. And uh, we're gonna go do other work things, right? I absolutely love iPhones on Mac. I can copy one and paste on the other device. It's, that's, yeah, that's fantastic. Gotta love Apple. Gotta love Apple. You can't, you can't go wrong. Um, but yeah, I truly appreciate all y'all, and I hope you guys have a phenomenal rest of your evenings. Uh, stay tuned, 6 o'clock, we got another video coming out about four of these items that I found today. Although, I may have to make another video separately about this Nat Nas now uh, for another day. But uh, I'll be back tomorrow morning, probably between 11.30 and 1ish, to pack up some orders with y'all. And have a great evening. Much love. Does anybody have anything to say before I go? You have 10 seconds to type. 10 seconds to type. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up. You will now forever hold your peace, or whatever the hell they say when you get married. Uh, check those DMs. I got you. Happy to help. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Jen. Enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you so much again. Appreciate all the gifts today, y'all. They are so unnecessary, but they are so appreciated. I'll see y'all. Hold on. I just made a sale. I just sold a comic book for $19.79. That sounds like an auto posher price, if I had to guess. Uh, yeah, so that's the thrift haul. If you guys missed it and you want to check it out on YT, a.k.a. Utubby, Later on, uh, the, it'll be up there at probably 6-ish. Six, six I'm going to try to get it uploaded before I upload the small video. I appreciate y'all. Have a phenomenal rest of your day. See y'all tomorrow. Much love. Peace.